All right, guys, apologies. My phone died. I have full battery now. So I am going to try to continue where I left off. I believe I had gone around the whole outside um, engine compartment. Um, we'll get into the underneath side of this. I'll start it, show you where everything runs. You can listen to the engine and everything. Um, this is basically just a part two of the part one that was like a 13 minute video of the whole walk around. So by now, if you've watched part one, you kind of have a good idea of what the outside looks like. Um, <clears throat> real quick, I don't know why you wouldn't have seen part one, but if you didn't, that's what we're going on. So now I'll crawl around underneath this thing and <clears throat> give you an idea of the condition just to show you that it has lived in Arizona its whole life there's no rust um, you are gonna see the typical um, grease in places like like I said we didn't get crazy detailing this thing I want somebody to see exactly what they're getting I don't want there to be um, questions like we tried to cover something up so in the wheel wells uh, this good idea that's some of the grease that I was talking about I mean we could have gone after it cleaned it spray painted it but I think somebody will appreciate the original condition so no rust no rust on these lower panels that's not rust that's dirt so I'll show you right here it just rubs off so that's dirt lower panels don't even have rock chips on them because this thing has had mud flaps on it um, Engine, transmission, transfer case. Like I said, I think in the other video, we've taken the drive line out of this thing a couple times. We uh, ordered a new carrier bearing. Um, part of the dust cover on the carrier bearing <laughs> didn't have the right clearance, so I had to order a second carrier bearing in typical um, 2022 parts fashion. That's how it seems to be lately. You have to replace things two and three times. So here's a good shot of the frame underneath of the truck. You can see actually there's a little crack right there. Uh, zoom in closer so you can see that. Um, and I will crawl under the other side as well. Just trying to give you guys all the information, details. Anything that you might need. The body mounts are still in nice shape. The rubber is still in good shape on them. Um, get under there. You can see all the pinch seams and in the inside of the cab there. I'll crawl around the back side now. It does have the original <coughs> spare tire or a spare wheel. Um, again, this is just dirt that's in here. So we didn't spray paint anything, I know, I'm like a broken record, I keep saying that. But, and then, like this, this is not scale rust, that's just surface rust. Alright, crawling underneath the back side. <laughs> put new shocks on it it still has the cool gold original wheel with a tire that is shot completely shot so yeah no focus camera there we go sorry if this is boring I'm sure somebody will appreciate this so this thing sat for years and years I said it in my other video and this thing sat with a tailgate down. Um, for, oh, there goes your water for years. So I spilled dog water. So the only rust that you're going to see is right here on this tailgate. And it was because this tailgate sat down like that. And anytime it would rain out here, or anytime he had anything that was wet, it would sit right here, or it would run back, and that area would get water, and these Toyotas, if you look at the way the thing's shaped, it would hold the water right there. So, it's kind of a bummer, but that 
is it right there. So this bumper is in great shape as you can see and it is welded on. And I don't know if that's the original bumper on this thing. That would be pretty amazing. But yeah, so we'll go around passenger side wheel well. Again, that is not scale or anything. It's dirt. Here, let me get my finger wet. So that'll clean off if you want to get all aggressive with the cleaning. All the original mud flaps are still there. And the fuel tank has been out of this thing. Um, we put a new fuel pump in it, a new fuel pump screen, new fuel lines, all that good stuff. So, see the frame, cab mounts, all in good shape. Lower body panels, not even rock chips, which is sweet. Shot of the transfer case. Original cat has been retained. Um, that's a question that I got is, will it pass smog? I don't know. I live in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. We do not have emissions testing here. Um, everything's on it. There's never been a check engine light. I don't even know if these have a check engine light, but there's no engine lights or lights on the dash that would tell me that anything's wrong. And I believe these only have an upstream O2 sensor and that cat, but I'm not a Toyota professional, so. But I don't know why it wouldn't pass smog. Um, like I said, I retained the original catalytic converter. The only thing we did was change the muffler and the tailpipe, so. Just going slow through this so everybody can see anything that they need to see. There's your front cab mount. Rubber's in good shape. And that's it. <coughs> so, Luna, you're in the video. That is the underside of this. I think, I don't know if in the other one I showed the inside of the bed. I think I did. But there's the inside of the bed, and the inside of the bed's in really amazing shape. I mean, for 1985, it doesn't look like it was really used as a truck. So it's kind of oxidized, which you can tell. Like, if you really wanted to get aggressive and polish the bed, I bet you could. So this thing is completely cold, 100% cold. I just came out here at 60 degrees today in Lake Havasu. So I'm going to show you what a cold startup is like. This isn't scripted. Um, I haven't started it yet today. I literally came out, started the video, so I don't know what I'm going to get, but you're going to get exactly what you would get if you had it in your garage. And we're going to start it cold. So. There you go. There's your cold start. Second. All right, this thing 100% cold, 60 degrees in Havasu. That's your cold start. There's no smoke coming out of the exhaust or anything like that. a little low so that's probably more of where it should be around 800 it looks like it was idling around six but there you go there's your cold startup and I'm gonna make one more video after this one is posted of basically driving down the road oh here you can see everything on the dash 
Um, for some reason, the volts, it always reads high. I don't know what the issue is. Um, never had a dead battery as far as like since we replaced it or any type of issue. So could be the gauge, could be something else. I'm not sure, but that's where everything is. Kind of rev it up. Alright, so that's going to kind of be the end of this video. Um, I think I've kind of gone over everything you could possibly go over. The only thing left is I will make one more video that shows running, driving, going down the road at, I guess I'll do 65 and then come out and let you guys check it out and see um, a walk around after it's been running. So. That's it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments or get in touch with me. It's listed on Mojave County Craigslist, Inland Empire, California Craigslist, Phoenix Craigslist, Las Vegas Craigslist, and I'll probably be listing it four or five other places. I might do LA, San Diego, <clears throat> um, I might do some other big cities just so it gets more coverage. So there it is, guys. Any questions, leave it. Thank you for watching.